AMD has enabled Fluid Motion Frame support for Radeon RX 6000 series. Asus GeForce RTX 4060 Ti with built-in SSD slot will be launching soon. Nvidia is working on GeForce RTX 4080 Ti with 8102 GPU and it will be releasing in early 2024. Intel's new ARC A580 GPU has gone sale in Japan and the pricing will surprise you. This is Tech Track. Okay, so firstly, we have AMD Radeon has posted this on X, and as you can see, we have listed to your, we listened to your feedback and are excited to bring AMD Fluid Motion Frame support to Radeon RX 6000 series. So basically, at first, the one the GPU drivers launched the 23.9.1, they didn't really include the 6000 series, but now they have, which is kind of weird. Why they have done that now? Why didn't they do it earlier? But Yep, they did, did do it now, so good news for the RX 6000 series GPU owners. You can now enjoy the AMD Fluid Motion Frames, and basically Fluid Motion Frames is the frame generation tech that you can use, but not too, in too many games, only two games support for now, but obviously more games will be releasing soon enough. So yeah, that's the good news for the RX 6000 series of GPU owners. Next up, we have something interesting. At EEC, there has been a GPU that has been filed. And as you can see it right over here, it says the dual RTX 4060 Ti 8 gigs SSD. So what does that mean? Basically, that SSD comes from the support for the SSD included into the GPU, which is kind of interesting how they've done that. So we'll see about that. And as you can see, this is the GPU we're talking about here. This is the, well, the SSD that comes with the GPU. Well, not comes with the GPU, the slot that comes with the GPU. And you can add a SSD right over here, basically just like in the motherboard. But I feel like they have done used the same tech as you know those DRAM slots that you can add, where you can literally you know add more SSD into it. I'm not sure it's called DRAM or not, but either way, there are there is a some something like that that you can use an extension for the SSD slot. I don't know, but yeah, it is similar tech, I believe, using the PCIe connection. So kind of works like that. And as you can see right over here, this is the SSD. As you can see, they're using the Samsung 980 Pro over here, which is good. And the RTX 4060 Ti, that's a GPU core over, or die over here. So yeah, that's the that's quite interesting that they have done such thing. That's the Asus, of course. So yeah, innovating, that's for sure. We have seen some very cool looking cards from Asus recently. So yeah, innovation is good, right? Next up, we have something interesting from Zad Wang, and he's basically saying that there will be a RTX 4080 Super or maybe TI, based on whatever you know Nvidia names it. But either way, in early 2024, so we still have a lot to wait because you know it's still October, so we have to wait for the early 2024. We don't even know how much early, but this GPU will be based on the 8102 TGP is will be will below 450, and the price range is kind of interesting. Same as RTX 4080 is kind of weird because we're talking about RTX 4080 Ti here. So how is that, you know, well, maybe he says the same price range, meaning that it will be uh, coming from 1000 to, I'm guessing, 1500. But I guess 1500 will be too much expensive. My guess would be 1300 for the RTX 4060 Ti or maybe somewhere around that. But still, it will be too much expensive unless they can prove that, yeah, they will add more VRAM, maybe like 20 gigs of VRAM. Or better memory bus like a uh, well, 256 or maybe 512 double that and I'm not sure if they will double to 512 they should they should actually but we'll see about that we'll see if that RTX 40 4080 basically not 2080 4080 super or TI I'm guessing that would be TI because they don't really have any TI so doesn't really make sense why they would name that super or they can because then video is unexpected sometimes so we'll see about that but yeah they are working on the RTX 4080 Ti. Previously, they, they did cancel the RTX 4080 Ti because we already know why. It didn't really make sense as a GPU. So they had, did cancel it. Maybe this time they might be working on better specs, hopefully. Next up, we have something interesting from Momomo underscore US. And I'm sorry for the, well, the image quality here. That's the well, native image quality. <laughs> not the native, but the given uploaded image quality, which is kind of blurry so let's not zoom into that but yeah intel arc a580 challenger 8 gigs will be releasing soon and this is probably a japanese e-tailer here i'm guessing so yeah this uh, has gone sale in japan and the pricing as you can see is 38 880 uh japanese currency i don't know what you call that but either way the pricing seems good because in usd is around 209 so it's around 30 percent cheaper compared to the 
well not the same gpu compared to the a750 so it kind of makes sense because lower tier car 30 percent cheaper compared to a750 also will perform a bit lower like rtx 3050 or 3050 ti that would be my guess or maybe more maybe like rx 6600 that would be another guess for the intel arc a580 to compete against so yeah we'll see how uh, we'll see how this gpu works but honestly i think it's too late for a580 because like it doesn't really make sense to me I'm, I'm guaranteeing you they might be and nvidia might be preparing for the 4050 or 4050, 4050 ti who knows i'm not sure they will even release 4050 but I, I think they should because really it doesn't really make sense to go for uh, a580 at this time of the year so yeah we'll see about that how that goes but we still have to wait for the well the benchmarks to be released to, to even consider buying this gpu if the pricing is correct then maybe maybe for some users it might not be that bad so we'll see about that